Hello everyone, I am forecaster Andre Brooks of the USA Severe Weather Network and we have a very complex weather system that's going to be coming in into the eastern parts of the United States. And our national weather headlines follows as such. We have a severe weather event that's going to be focused mainly around the south. And with that being said, all modes of severe weather are possible within the region coming up very soon. And not only that, there will be a winter weather event that's going to be coming into the region as well. And the focus area is the Midwest and the Northeast. So let's move along to what the severe weather side of the system will bring. And um, with the system coming in from Canada, it's going to be bringing in cold, cold air aloft. And with that also, a warm front is going to be um, developing um, with the low pressure system. And, and also that a cold front is going to be attached to the low pressure system as well. Which dividing the air, which um, allows the cold air aloft to come into the um, you know, southern United States. Warm moist air that's going to be coming in from the Gulf of Mexico as well. And with shear and cape values at a substantial amount, this will cause um, severe weather in the south. And this is the region that seems to be in the focus area at this time, which includes parts of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. And this includes damaging winds, hail, tornadoes, and clouds of ground lightning. And um, this is through this whole weekend, um, not official from Storm Prediction Center yet. But we have had enough model consensus telling us that there is a good chance we could have some severe weather. Now, the same system that's going to be causing the severe weather in the south is also going to be causing winter weather. And as this low pressure system moves south into parts of the United States, it will cause cold air through a whole frozen surface, you know, frozen layer that will cause snow to develop as well and we're calling this area the area of uncertainty the reason is because the model has been back and forth to determine where that particular snow line will be so we're just calling this area uncertainty so everyone in the in the northern central plains the midwest and the northeast and even parts of the mid-south as well this is going to you know y'all just keep aware and we're going to be keeping you posted on everything with this system with that being said, I'm forecaster Andre Brooks of the USA Severe Weather Network. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Andre Brooks. And please um, like and share our weather page, USA Severe Weather Network. Everyone have a great day. God bless you.